Hi, what's up, y'all? It's Poppin' Cracking. It's D-Boss. You're to this Armand Wiggins event. It's titled, Meg Thee Stallion Tells Winnie Harlow, I Shall Beat Your Um, Apparently, there are more details that have come out about this Winnie and Megan fight. Somebody told me to check this out. Said that. It, it, it's info included in here that I didn't react to before. So, we got some more tea about the situation. So, I guess Meg put the paws on Winnie. Or maybe she, she did. She said, I should beat your not I'm about to beat your ass, or I did beat your ass, you know? Uh, anyway, let's see what's going on with these ratchets. Let's watch. All right, what's poppin', everybody? It's your boy, Armand, and we're back with another video. Get in here, get in here. It's time to get into some things, okay? Now, but first, before we get into it, you know we gotta get into the intro. All right? Y'all go some yeah. good. You want to talk? So... It's been a lot going on, right? So apparently back in July, Megan Thee Stallion and Winnie Harlow got into a fight. Or well, at least that's what the girls were suggesting. And more details about the situation have came out, all right? Um, so apparently, um, uh, recently, uh, Winnie Harlow and Megan Thee Stallion got into a fight at Mike Rubin's all-white party. Um, but there's more details oh. to the story that came out, all right? Oh, Allegedly, all of this started because... Winnie is Canadian, all right? Now, this comes from... Girl, Lauren now you fighting for Drake, girl. He will not fight for you, She was a guest on The Breakfast don't. Club. We love Lauren Hill. Shout out to her. She was a guest host on The Breakfast Club, so she's got um, exclusive information on what happened. So, allegedly, all this started because Winnie is, a, is Canadian, and she posted something about Tory Lanez on social media in the oh, midst of the Meg Tory. and Tory thing. Okay, I'll be forgetting that Tory is... <laughs> When he said Canadian, my mind immediately went to Drake. Because I do know that Drake was at the party, too. Drake was there, too. That's when he was looking old and crazy. And everybody was there roasting him. He was there. So I'm thinking that she's trying to be like, oh, I'm Team Drake. But, um, yeah, Tori is also from Canada. Okay. Um, the, in, in the midst of the trial. So, which so man allegedly took her? issue with. Okay. Mm. Now... She says what she is being told. Winnie, stay out of it. Is hold on. Let me You're not get even it, in the music industry, bro. It. She says what she is being told. Oh, T. Um, she says I'm told Winnie's alleged post. I tried to go back and find it and couldn't. Wasn't aimed to be against Megan the Stallion at all, but it was perceived that way. It was, okay. it was towards um, her. When Winnie, Winnie alleged, <laughs> allegedly realized the perception of the post, she deleted Well, she has a reputation it. of being shady. I'm told there was a, also an alleged short convo about the post where Meg, at some point, actually reached out to Winnie, and Winnie apologized. Why would you apologize if you wasn't trying to be shady? Meg allegedly shady left boots? Winnie on red and oh. did not respond to the apology. Mm. Let me go back to that. So, I'm told that Winnie's alleged post wasn't aimed to go to be against Megan Thee Stallion at all, but was perceived that way. What did it say? So, it looked messy. Because she messy. I'll be honest with you. Here, the word on the carpet is a lot of people say that Winnie is a mean girl. She's not very nice. I told y'all. She's not very humble. And she's shady. But people a lot of people say that about her. Okay. I don't think it's just a rumor when a lot of people are saying it and a lot of people are sharing stories about their encounters with this woman. It's not just, oh, that's what we heard and leaving it at that. No, people have detailed their experiences with this woman. Look it up yourself, find it yourself. It's out there, okay? Littered <laughs> across the internet. So it's like, hmm, when, when multiple people are sharing their experiences, you know, that they've had with you that are negative, uh, there may be some validity to it. Obviously, I don't know this woman. I'm not saying she's for sure shady, but mm, just, you know, something to keep in mind. We'll say the same thing about Megan Thee Stallion. So it seems like two shady I mean, divas. Ran into each other. I've heard a lot of nasty things about Winnie around the city. See? And, you know, clearly you've heard a lot of nasty things about Megan Thee Stallion and her character. So, um, this is interesting. So, basically, she says um, it wasn't aimed against Megan Thee Stallion at all, but perceived that way. When Winnie allegedly realized the perception of the post, she deleted it. Excuse me. Okay. I'm told 
there was an, also an alleged short conversation about the post where Meg at some point reached out to Winnie. So it sounds like Meg and Stallion reached out, said, girl, what's, what's the tea? tea? Exactly. Why would you post that? What's Winnie tea, apologized. bitch? I can hear Meg saying that. Meg left it on red and kind of gave like, girl, you're a weirdo, in my opinion. Mm. This also feels like this story is definitely coming from Winnie Harlow's side and perspective. Because it's given like, well, she had a problem. I deleted it right away. Um, I reached out. She reached out to me. We talked about it. But then she left me on red. So I don't know what her issue is. That's what it's given. It's given Megan Thee Stallion is paying it. It's given Winnie Harlow was making a statement and reached out. Um, mm. Ruben Party comes. Meg and Winnie allegedly get into a verbal altercation. When he opens these things, he needs to hide his uh, his bookmarks. Because I know people are nosy and they'll be looking and seeing. Because I'm I'm not even trying to be nosy, but you know I'm just glancing up and I see one, two, and three bedroom apartment. So he probably looking to move. Etsy, art paintings. You know, people going to be in your business. How to dispute what? <laughs> You know, people are nosy like that. Bar crystals. You know, I ain't the nosy one. But I'm just saying, you know, my brother, you might want to hide them the next time you do this. And people could start speculating stuff and putting pieces together that don't even go together. You know? You know? So, just a note. I always hide mine. I think I did it one time and somebody made a comment about it. And I was like, oh, you weird. <laughs> you weird. I'm, I'm never showing them again. Uh, and, and I mean, they wasn't even weird. Mine was is like normal. I mean, these are normal too. But anyway. <laughs> um, um, she says, I'm being told that Meg allegedly approached Winnie about the post, but tons of people were, people there broken up before <sighs> an actual fight <sighs> could really happen. Okay. Now, my person who was there alleges Meg was going off and yelling at Winnie. Okay? So this person is saying together. that Meg and the Stallion was going off and yelling at Winnie. We don't know if Meg and the Stallion was allegedly drunk or what. Mm. Or if she was just pissed off and going off. Right? And she says, I should beat your ass. Okay? I should beat your ass. So, I can hear her saying that. That apparently Megan is, is what had happened. Megan the Stallion allegedly tells Winnie Harlow, I should beat your mother. <laughs> nah. Okay. Now, here's the thing. I feel like people only in, in my in my in my history of like beefs and getting offended by things like that and getting to a point where we're gonna go off. There's a couple of things for me. It's either, okay, you might have tried me once, and I'm going to look at you as a weirdo. But I have to look at your track record. So maybe you tried me once, but who are you connected to? Who are your friends? Because for you to just get that mad and just be ready to beat somebody A because they did a post like that, there had to be more leading up to it. So for me, it felt like Megan Thee Stallion... Winnie did something weird. They were cool at one point. Winnie made uh, Megan Meg, Winnie made Megan feel like okay, she's a weirdo, and she felt like she Megan felt like she kept doing stuff. All right, you like that's a leap. You, we don't know that. Maybe Megan is a ratchet. I think she is a ratchet, and maybe she had you know a few too many shots of douce or whatever you know liquor that she sells. Maybe she smuggled it in. <laughs> And, you know, Winnie was there and she like, bitch, yeah, what was you saying on Twitter or whatever? And then they had a back and forth and, and Megan went off. That's kind of what it gives. Megan seems very feisty and seems like she'll be quick to pop off on somebody. Okay? And fight somebody. That's what it's giving. That Winnie was being shady and trying to throw rocks and hide her hands. And Megan probably, you know, was like, bitch, what's up? And, of course, Winnie's scary ass ain't trying to do nothing. And it was, you know, a, a, a spectacle that they made. Thank you, Tori. We know you're cool. We know you're a Nicki Minaj fan. Who knows what mm. happened behind the scenes where it just kind of became a domino effect, a weird mm. that Megan perceived that Winnie was doing. And then Winnie pretty much was like, well, you know what? It wasn't that weird to me. But in hindsight, she could have been moving weird because 
her alliances with Nikki or her alliances or her being from Canada or Canada or whatever. Mm -hmm. She's not really liking Megan Thee Stallion like that. We don't know what the conversations behind the scenes were, but to she me, for her to get this upset Nikki and for them to come well. to almost blows like that, she for sure it clearly her. shows this has been a buildup of things and Megan is like, girl, I'm not going to keep letting you play with me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe you could have showed support from him because you're from Canada or whatever, but you knew what you were doing when you did that. And so you're not going to my face and call it rain. Mm. You knew what you were doing when you posted that and how you posted that, and if you and and and, and you knew what that was going to be perception wise, you were too calculated in how you moved. So at the end of the day, the I feel away. On top of the fact, girl, if I'm looking at your track record, I know who you live for. I know who you're cool with. I don't know. Maybe it's that. And I just think, too, we don't know what goes on behind the scenes between girls. These are two girls, uh, like, pretty girls, both arrogant. I'm here. I don't know neither one of them, but I'm here. I've heard a lot of things about Megan Stallion, and I've heard a lot of nasty things about Winnie and her attitude as well. So, perhaps, mm. you know, these are two alpha females that's like, girl, I'm not worried about you, and I don't like you. You don't like me, I don't like you. It is what it is. You can't take my man, and you can't take my man. So, what's up? Man, what? Are you know what I mean? And I'm not no fan of you, and you don't have to be no fan of me. I'm not impressed, and you're not impressed. Next. All right, now we're just creating a storyline. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's giving baddies, celebrity edition. That's what it's giving. Megan, for sure, is giving baddies. <laughs> I don't want that's, that's fresh on my mind. Maybe because I just reacted to a whole episode on my Patreon. Check it out if you're interested. <laughs> Um, so maybe that ghetto shit is on my, on my mind. But yeah, I mean, it looks like they didn't actually fight, so... I mean, it's something to keep in mind, I guess. It's interesting tea, sure, but I highly doubt it'll, it'll go anywhere from here. I mean, it might, though. What if they start sending shots, you know, at each other on, on, on social media? Who knows? But, yeah, this is the extra tea that, you know, someone asked me to check out. So, yeah. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you've been watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye!